Hello, so today I am going to do diamond dots. And this one is big, but it's only the sunflower and horse. So it's going to be fun though. I'm excited. So now that I have done doing the bag, that is your main setup. You want to do that first. You don't have to do all the bags. You can slowly keep moving on with them. So now you take one of the bags. You make sure. So for A16, I have a little Y looking symbol. I actually want to start with the equal sign which is a 21 over here. And then I scoop up a little pile of a 21 with this little scooper. So I have some of these in big bags. Others will go in tiny bags. The, these are for the horse though. And so then I have my bag scooped up. And you wanna make sure you also number your bags so you know what color and symbol it is. So now this is A21, so it equals. So then you take this pencil thing and some wax comes in a container, others comes in a square. So there's a plastic coating Normally on this, I'm gonna take the whole thing out and peel it. Okay, it just went over the side. So you wanna peel both edges away and stick it in there. And then just let cover this basically, but since we're gonna use it, you want to sink the pencil in until it gets up to this little lip. This, so you see the separate of, there's gold and then it goes to white. You want this little lip right here to go up to and then it will be good. So now I have a hole in my wax. That is good. You don't want to rip off the whole thing. So you actually, want to just peel a little corner that you're gonna work on and then just pick up the diamond and stick it down. And then just keep going like that for all that one symbol. And then you move on to a different color. Nope. And you move the diamonds if they get misplaced. So one thing I forgot to mention is that you want to shake the tray so the diamonds have the bling side facing up. I like to have multiple trays going so I can switch out colors easily.
I need two more of the beads, so I'm gonna grab them. But kind of dump them in. So here is one bead in the tray. There's that one. I need one more. Okay, putting the last bead on. I feel like I always make like a moment out of these. I mean, it did take me forever, but I'm gonna actually do this one with my left hand. Yeah. Done. Okay. Now, once you are done with your project, you take, you clear off, clear everything off it. So now you put on the covering, and then I'm gonna go grab, grab a rolling pin. Okay, and then I'm gonna roll this gently on here to make sure that all the beads stick. Oh, yeah, the extra bead. You want to gently roll, but I kind of put some pressure on it, and you want to roll for a while. I'm done with the rolling pin, and so this is completely finished. Um, I might add like a frame or something. I'd say the horse was the best part. I'm really glad that I finished this in under a week. I put about like 20, 21 hours, so less than like a full 24 hours. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.